What is up, everybody? Today we're going to show you how to do roads on one inch one inch insulation foam. So this is not a technique that we made up by any means. This is just something that we've seen a couple other people do, like uh, Doug Fiscali and Jason Jensen. So we've taken kind of what we learned from them, and we're going to show you how we do it on our foam with what they've taught us and uh, what we've learned on our own. So, like I said, one inch insulation foam. You can pick this stuff up at like Walmart. I mean, I'm sorry, Lowe's or Home Depot or any big box store. What we need to start is our scale ruler, a Zacto knife. I'll use a pencil and some pre-mixed road paint. Road, I think I called it road color. But um, basically, this is just a tan and a... Um, uh, like a khaki and a gray paint that I've pre-mixed to make our road color, our concrete color. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is make our road 20 inches in width. Well, 20 feet in width, I'm sorry. So scale to 20 feet in width. We're going to measure it out on our piece of foam and draw the lines. I'm making sure I draw the lines lightly because um, we don't want them to show up in our paint uh, when we paint it. So 20 feet in width. The next thing we're going to do is draw some relief lines in the concrete and then cut the relief lines so that way you would have like the, the relief cuts in the concrete for when it expands and contracts. These relief lines are also going to be every 20 feet. 20, 40 and we can't fit the third one in, so that's okay. Just draw them in, and I'll erase anything that we overdrew here. All right, so we have everything drawn out to where our road's gonna be, and we're quickly just gonna take our Zacto knife, make sure it's a sharp blade, so I'm using a new blade, that way the foam doesn't get caught up and we have a rough cut. And we're just gonna cut all of our lines into the foam. All right, so at this point, you actually could start painting your concrete uh, roads. The thing that we are gonna do though quickly is, is hand etch some cracks into the road. So real quick with your sharp Zacto knife, um, you can kind of just get creative and just draw some cracks. So we're just gonna make some cracks in the road. All right, so we have a bunch of cracks we drew in the road. Well, we didn't draw, we etched them in with our sharp Zacto blade. Uh, this is a older, more beat up road. So we put a bunch of cracks in. So there's really no rhyme or reason to it. We just threw in some cracks. The next thing we're gonna do is get our concrete paint and paint a layer of, our first layer of paint on here. Now, this is just acrylic paint. Uh, like I said, I mixed a uh, gray and a khaki acrylic paint into this jar. That way I had a nice color to match later. Um, so you're just gonna wanna do one coat real quick, making sure you stay in your lines. You can also throw a painter's tape down if you would like uh, on the edges here on the outside to keep a straight line. So we're just gonna finish up this first coat. Making sure we fill in all of the cracks. And it's okay if uh, they look like they get covered up a little bit, the cracks you drew in, because uh, when it dries, it'll tighten up and then you'll be able to see all those features that you just put into your road. So we're just gonna let this set and dry. We'll come back in a little bit. All right, the first coat's dry and um, you can see, like I said, the features do show back up uh, that look like they were fading away when you were painting. They come back. So we're going to do the second coat and I will speed this part of the video up for you guys. That way you don't have to see it. And I don't have to bore you. Okay, that is our second coat. 
and um, we're gonna let it dry again. So the paint is dry and the next step we are going to do is paint a yellow center line down the center of the road. So I just have this piece of cardstock and it's 10 feet between lines, 10 from the back to the front of the line. And it is a six foot line down the center. Um, so we're just gonna line it up, use this homemade stencil and we are gonna actually dry sponge on the yellow line. Just gonna lightly sponge the line down the center and uh, we'll come back, I'll show you what it looks like. And we're just gonna speed this part up for you guys. And there's our yellow line down the center. Okay, now the next step is also going to be done with a sponge. We're just gonna take a new sea sponge here and we're gonna use a white and a gray to quickly sponge a little bit of a um, like a uneven looking concrete effect onto the road so the, well, the white actually needs to be very very dry sponge we're not gonna use a lot of paint at all so very lightly we're just gonna put some dots on the road and it does not show up very dark that's almost too light but just very lightly we add some dots to the road And we're going to do the same thing with the gray paint. All right, the next step is to get some chalk on this thing. So let me get my chalk real quick and we're going to weather this thing up. All right, so the first step we're going to do is um, weather the, uh, the crevices and cracks. Uh, so we want to get a finer brush, and I'm going to get some black chalk, and we're going to just fill in the cracks that we made. Okay, so we put the chalks on, and then I take a sponge, and I kind of um, dust it off, and I use another brush, and I dust out the excess uh, chalk from the cracks. And I, you know, I got a little on the edge here, a little bit of smudging, but uh, I'm not worried about that, because we're going to cover that with scenery later. So the next thing we're gonna do is um, just take a gray dust that we have and we're just gonna put the gray dust on the road. And our lines are fading a little bit, our yellow lines are fading, but um, that's okay. We want this to look like an old-fashioned road. Well, not old-fashioned, but just beaten. trying to get any kind of lines that you can see like a stroke out of it so that's what we're coming up with so far a little bit of browns because on the edges here is where your scenery would be and you need a little bit of dirt
So later when you put grass or dirt on the edge of your road here, you'll see, um, you know, there'd be some dirt built up on the side of a concrete road. So you'll have that brown edge where your dirt matches or meets the grass. Okay. So that's where I'm at. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of a, I didn't notice this in the foam before I started, a little bit of a rippling effect in here. Uh, that's not, I didn't, I didn't run into this problem with my other one that I did on the layout, but um, it's okay. Uh, kind of adds a little bit of texture. It's not ideal, but um, for the demonstration purpose, it'll work fine. Now the next thing we're going to do real quick is put some tire tracks or like wear marks where the where they would be driving on and we just use like kind of like this uh fan brush for that. So what we'll do is lightly just lightly draw a line with our chalk and I really should have a let me go grab a vehicle. We want to match the wheel base with where the uh, tire lines would be. And we quickly just dust them on. And then real quickly, um, they are pretty dark right now and they're very harsh black lines. So the next step we will do to dull these out is... Um, we will take our white chalk and our gray chalk, again, back with the gray chalk, and we will lighten out the dark black tire tracks. And just, just dull them down a little bit. These are pretty, they're pretty dark. It looked like someone was doing burnouts on the road, so we don't need that. Dull them down a little bit. Um, and I may go back and touch up my center line later if this were on the layout. Um, but for tonight's purposes, I will just leave them be. A little bit of white. Put a little bit of white chalk here at the end to lighten it up a little bit. And I think we're about done with our road. So, let's check out what we got here in a second. There we go. We have our HO scale road done. Uh, this is a concrete road. Like I said, there's other methods. Uh, this is just a quick demonstration of how I do them. Uh, we might have taken a little more time had it not been on this little demo piece. But uh, there you go. Hopefully you guys can use what I showed you tonight and uh, make some really cool looking roads. Uh, and like I said, make sure you use a car if you're going to put these tire tracks in because they do really um, help you line up where they should be. So, all right, guys.